In this video, we're going to be talking about hand hygiene for healthcare workers. There are two ways of washing your hands. The first way is the traditional way, with soap and water, and the other way is alcohol-based hand rub. Today, we're going to be focusing on performing hand hygiene with soap and water. But first, let's talk about when you should perform hand hygiene. Hand hygiene should be performed before and after patient care, after contact with body fluids, open wounds, or contaminated area, after removing gloves, before eating, or after using the restroom. We want to use soap rather than alcohol hand sanitizer when our hands are visibly dirty, after known or suspected exposure to Clostridium difficile, if the facility is experiencing higher endemic rates, if there is a known or suspected exposure to patients with infectious diarrhea during norovirus outbreak, or if there is an exposure to bacillus anthracis and, as mentioned previously, before food and after using the restroom. Finally, let's get down to the technique of washing your hands with soap and water. Well, first of all, we'll need some soap, paper towels, and running warm water. We want to make sure it's warm, not hot, because hot water can dry out your skin, which can lead to cracks. We want to make sure we're not wearing any jewelry, as it can harbor germs in it. We're gonna get about a teaspoon of soap, we're gonna uh, turn on the water, and we're gonna scrub it in circular motion for about 20 seconds on our palms. After that, we're gonna get the back of our hand, then the thumbs, then the individual digits, and we're gonna get knuckles, we're gonna get in between our fingers, Underneath the fingernails, that's important. And one inch above our wrists. Throughout washing your hands, you want to make sure that your wrists are above your hands so that all the germs can wash down. Finally, you want to make sure to not touch the inside of the sink as it can have a lot of germs in it. We're going to dry our hands by patting them with a dry paper towel. After that, we'll dispose of the wet paper towel and turn off the water with the new dry paper towel. This concludes the hand hygiene with soap and water.